Welcome. Today we're going to do some editing of video using the Apple iMovie software. So I'm on an Apple laptop today. I'm opening up the iMovie software and we're going to start out by importing some uh, video clips into the software. So we're going to go up to the file menu and we'll click import movies. That opens up a file browser for me. I already have some sample files in here. I can browse to my movie folders and click on the selected movies that I'd like to use. I can use the shift key to select several files in a row. I can use the Apple key to select non-contiguous files or files that aren't next to each other. In this case I'm using the shift key, highlight those, and we'll import them. It takes a minute usually to import video using uh, iMovie. You'll notice as I as I imported I had several different file formats that I was grabbing. Uh, it's compatible with MOV files, import MP4s, uh, several different movie formats you'll f see in the end when we when we export these. We'll export them as as M4V files. Now iMovie is a little different than Movie Maker. If you watch that other video, you'll notice I don't have to actually click on the timeline to get a preview. If you listen close there, as I drag my mouse down here on the bottom, it gives me short little clips immediately where my mouse is. It's a little creepy to get used to at first, I know. <laughs> As you try this out, that might uh, weird you out a little bit, but uh, you can you can have a, a quick preview right inside the show, and you can move that forward as fast or as slow as you like. It's kind of nice once you get used to it, but it's a little creepy at first. Now, I'm going to take some of these individual clips and drag them up to my project window. So down here I've got my what's called my new event window. Uh, where the the videos that I have imported sit. So they basically project by project as you import files it dumps them down in this bottom event portion and you can then drag them up into the project library. Now this one works a little differently than many other video editing softwares. As I click on a location you'll notice how as I click it gives me a start and an end point right there and then I can click and drag that right off the bat so I can do a lot of this trimming and splitting and editing right off the bat without ever even dragging the picture, the, the video clip up into the project. But once I've got, say if I want to do entire clips, I'll just double click on those. It highlights the entire clip for me. Then I can drag that clip up to the project window. If I want to use all of these, the entire clip, another way I can do that is to right click and say uh, select the entire clip and it shows the whole clip selected. I can drag that up. This one's a lot more mouse driven, a lot more graphical user interface oriented. You know, a lot of graphics um, and allowing you to use your mouse to control everything. Uh, so now I can click on this last file. I've got a couple just quick time samples that I'm using as video files. Now if I splice those all together, I can get a preview over here in the pane. In the preview pane, just by hitting the space bar, and it start to play my video for me. What should you do if you experience a problem with your iPod? Remember these five basic suggestions. Okay, now I've hit the space bar to stop that preview. We've got a timeline uh, zoom option down here that allows me to zoom in to show greater or less detail. You'll show me that the that the time scale is a five second shot right now. If I go all the way down, I can go to a half second shot. Now, if I go to the other end of the spectrum, it gives me the entire entire clip in just one one preview window. Or I can go to say thirty second shots, and now it gives me thirty second. Anyway, there's the there's the, uh, the zoom slider. You've got the same thing up in the in the project window, a zoom bar. If I want to split clips, uh, I can do that in either the upper or lower window here, either in the project window or in the new event window. Uh, and just right click and go to split clip. I can split that into two portions. 
we can add transition effects between these clips by going to the transition button here it turns on and off the, the transition pane uh, gives you another little uh, window to, to draw from say for example we want to use something like a cube transition where it's going to flip between the two scenes I'm going to add that tr transition in between these last two uh, clips and then we'll preview that, we'll watch the transition slash go here support slash iPod. see how it kind of just flips from one to the other Okay, so transitions can add a lot of uh, flavor or a lot of a lot of polish to a uh, to a video. Okay, and other common things that you'll do on a on a video are add titles and credits. So there's a whole bunch of them here listed under the titles button under that menu. You get several to choose from. Let's add a uh, let's let's do some scrolling credits here at the end add that on to the end of the uh, show we can add a, a background effect and we'll do a curtain call for this one and then you can change the names we'll do it this way Corey Godfrey as video editor and there we've got some credits so we can play that again, show the little clip at the end. Away we go, we've got some scrolling credits. Okay, there's many, many, many more tools in iMovie, probably a little more even than Windows Movie Maker. Uh, so when you're done, when you're ready to share, uh, to finish off that project, go up to the Share option, and you can share by exporting the movie that'll save the movie to the to the hard drive in an M4V format you can change the format if you like but by default it does an M4V the other option here that probably be most obvious would be to export to YouTube and that'll go directly into your YouTube account let you run from there so thanks for listening and thanks for your time